Hi guys, and welcome to another video. Um, so I just really quickly want to say before we get started that I filmed the video that you're going to watch yesterday, but this intro is being filmed a day later because uh, my throat was not feeling good yesterday, and I thought maybe it'll feel better tomorrow, but instead it just got worse. <coughs> I wanted to film anyway because I wanted to get this video edited, but we're going to just deal with how I am how I'm feeling. Um, so for the video today, I'm doing a more face painty kind of skeleton-esque uh, look. I don't know, but there's going to be a little bit of gore, so I wanted to point that out before you get started watching the video, um, so that if you don't want to watch that, you can just click out right now. Um, but I think it's very fun and it was a very cool thing to do, so let's get started. Today, as always, I'm starting by priming with my Ultra Repair Hydronic Hydrating Primer from First Aid Beauty. Next, I took this Q-Kai lip liner and drew a nice squiggly line on my face just to block out where I'm going to put face paint and foundation. Next, I took my Bare Minerals Bare Pro Foundation in Fair or One and put foundation all above the squiggly line, but not below. Next, I took my Tarte Concealer and put that everywhere you would conceal. Now with some white face paint, I'm using Snazaroo's. Um, I'm gonna paint and add a nice base layer uh, below the squiggly line that we drew before. Now I do my eyebrows. Now I'm going in with some black face paint, again from Snazaroo, and drawing on those lines that are the base of a skeleton mouth, as well as those like cheek pockets, I guess you would call them in a skeleton, where you don't have bone, but it needs to like show that, so we add black as a shadow. Getting back to just a little bit more normal makeup, I take some warm browns from my Starry Sky Top Beauty palette and put those in the crease as well as a little bit of a darker brown in the outer corner of my eyes to add a little bit more depth. And then I took those same colors and blended them onto the lower lash line. For eyeliner, I went in with my Ico Black Magic Liquid Liner and added a little bit of a defining wing to the eye to make a nice pretty shape. For lashes, I took my Bang Bad Girl Benefit Mascara and just popped that on. Now I'm going back in with the liquid eyeliner I used to add the teeth. For the nose, on the other hand, I'm going back in with some face paint because that's easier to cover a large amount of ground with and it covers the white nicely. Now I'm taking this black eyeshadow and blending that on the line that we have between the face paint and the foundation to add a little bit more depth to this look and make it look a little bit less flat. For the fake blood today, I'm using this Revlon Lip Stain in 45 and just putting that all along that line where we just added a little bit of shadow and that just adds a little bit more of a realness to this look, even though it already looks very fake. It'll just make it look a little more fun. Now I'm taking a slightly more purple and slightly darker than my skin tone eyeshadow and blending that along the edge. And that is it. That is my slightly gory, pretty gory look for today because I felt like I wanted to mess around with some face paint and fake blood. Thank you guys so much for watching. Do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye!